In this video, I will explain the contract approval workflow. In the contract desktop, I can see all the lists of contacts that are stored in DocLogix. Left column shows me that there is a workflow related to this particular contract and in the tasks and approval flow tab, I see here the status of the workflow, the name of the workflow, the active steps and the lists of tasks that are performing during the workflow. This particular task is appointed to the responsible performer and the person John Smith is responsible for this one task. I am connected as David Williams, the person who activated the workflow and I have to switch to DocLogix as John Smith. And in the first page I can see the list of tasks that I have to complete. And the first task is to point responsible lawyer and to the contract card in the yellow ribbon I see all the information related to the task. Who sent me this task? What is the name of the task? Can I complete or reject it? Immediately in the responsible I see that the responsible lawyer which is selected by default I can review the contract with quick view function and I don't need to open up any additional applications for that. And in the task approval flow tab I just change the responsible lawyer person which would be Mark Johnson. To finish this task press the complete button. Once I press the complete button, the system executes my task and according to the workflow will create the next task. In the task and approval flow tab, I see that the task log with the new task approved contact which is sent to the responsible person Mark Johnson. I can see the goal workflow process. I can zoom in. Here is the point responsible lawyer task which was just recently executed and as you can see the workflow goes to the next one step approve contract. The yellow color means that the process is now on this particular step. Thank you for watching.